Howdy, howdy, howdy. My name is Anaksha Sasuke, and I'm going to be reacting to the Lackadaisy pilot. But first, I need to give a little bit of, like, background. First off, the ex the existence of the Lackadaisy pilot is why the Lackadaisy Let's Play out, Let's Play, Let's Read I was doing kind of stopped. Because I was concerned that with there being actual official voices now, I wouldn't really be able to do the Let's Read anymore. Either because people would think it's weird that I'm not trying to do the real voices that they'll have, or that I would start trying to do the real voices they have instead of the voices I've been giving them. And there's only so many voices I can do, right? I mean, look at me. Do I really like I was going to be able to do a convincing voice for Ivy? No. Nah, no. Of course not. But, the on the funny half of it, the funny half is, I... Was I never once considered voicing Freckle as a grown man because I was voicing Freckle based off of how he was acting and how he looked, not based on the fact that if he was able to fail out of the police academy, obviously he's a grown man. So if there's one thing I got from them working on this for the last few years, it's the realization that if any, if nothing else, when I get back to doing the Let's Read, because I should go back to it, Freckle's voice should be deeper. <laughs> and at the at the very least that change will probably happen but on the other side of it the more serious side lackadaisy specifically is very important to me lackadaisy is a part of the reason that i do let's reads at all like yes as far as the channel is concerned let's read started because i was doing a microphone test and reading homestuck for it and just uploaded that to youtube all willy-nilly but reading lackadaisy out loud with my friends and then at a panel with Tracy that one of my friends put together reading Lackadaisy. So the, the creators heard my Rocky voice and she said it was good. So even like the the following year at the, that convention, I got a, a shirt from her and she gave me a voice actor's discount and that made my whole convention. And it feels to me... It feels not okay to just not watch the pilot just so I can keep doing the let's the let's read. I got her permission to do the let's read. I didn't ask to do the react because I was like afraid she'd say no. So, uh, so here we are. We're on the page. I just subscribed to. I don't. I don't know why I wasn't already subscribed to their YouTube channel, but you should too. Go subscribe to the YouTube. Check out the Lackadaisy pilot. It's twenty seven minutes long and a half. I didn't know how long it was going to be. I assume it's the beginning of the comic. But, uh... Alright, let's do it. Let me let me shut up. Oh, okay, hold on. Uh, boop. Warning, this film contains occasional flashing lights which may not be suitable for photosensitive viewers. This film contains depictions of gun violence and how, uh, alcohol consumption. Viewers' discretion is advised. For the best audio experience, we recommend listening with headphones. Another thing is, since I'm not really used to doing reacts, I don't know if I want to just keep pausing it or just watch it all the way through and then talk about it, because I haven't watched it yet. I was I was waiting, because back in the day when I still did these weekly like I should be doing, they came up on Fridays, so I thought I'd do it on Friday. So, yeah, let's see what's happening Iron Circus animation. Uh, let me turn off the closed caption since it's St. Louis, Missouri. 927 Prohibition is in full effect. Seems far too austere a name for something made of mirth and rage. Oh, roiling red blood river vein. If chief among your traits is age, you're a wily, convoluted sage. <laughs> is old the thing to call what rings the vernal heart of Wester lore? What brings us brassy, myth made kings? And. 
remembrance of bug type things. To challenge Titans come before! Oh, Demiurge to a try at Avalon once more. And what a gust vitality in your wide aorta stream. You must have had to oversee alchemic change of timber beam to iron brick and engine steam. Your umber whiskey waters lent the prideful sober sovereignty a faulty haloed temperance and wilt her self sure countenance. Yes, righteousness is vanity. <laughs> but sports for imps, not elderly. So, if there's a name for migrant mass of veteran frivolity, it snakes through seas of prairie grass and groves of summer sassafras. A name that flows as roguishly as wild waters, fast and free. It's your true name. Mississippi. Ahem. It's abundantly clear you four got us down here. Encore? <laughs> uh, no encore? Uh, no, no, that's plenty. We're fine. Should I uh, add a, a dance? Extra stanzas? <laughs> There's more where that came from. Please don't ruin musical theater for everyone. <laughs> I'm not sure lookouts are supposed to make such a ruckus anyway. Why don't you come down here and grab a shovel? Alas, Miss Pepper, I was cursed, cursed with these spaghetti arms. So I do what I can. I provide the up. provide the ambiance. Babyface provides the muscle. Look at him digging his way to martyrdom, the little goat getter. Now, how about a little rhapsody in G minor for company? Fine. If you're not going to help us work, you're going to have to double as the dirt rag. Rocky? Ah, I think I found <laughs> Is that it? Well, if it isn't, we'll have some awkward explaining to do to the family of uh Herman Hafemspiel? So, the... The animation reminds me of... Like, a cross between older and newer Disney movies. I can't say I've seen very many newer Disney movies, but... Obviously, it's gonna remind me of The Princess and the Frog, because Louisiana. But it also kind of reminds me of the Aristocats era of, uh... Disney, which I said it, and it was like, it's because they're cats in Louisiana. It's not because they're cats in Louisiana, but yes, they're cats in Louisiana. It just, it reminds me of a cross between the art style of Aristocats and The Princess and the Frog. And I also really like that it started with Rocky's monologue, because that's, that I died, that's the thing that I did in my Rocky voice for Tracy, and that's great. I also really like the voices so far, and I'm kind of glad that they also didn't go for Louisiana accents, because Lord knows I can't do one. So if I can't do one, and they're not doing one... Anyway. What was that? How did you hear something? All these unresting sp How many instruments did he bring? Was she carrying multiple fiddles? Violence? Fiddles? Violas? The the neck chin thing that does the eh, like there were multiple. Spirits were trespassing on their turf. But there's not you can do about it, you feisty devils. I wish my mom was here. What? Blasphemy! That force of nature, she'd stop us dead. I know. Oh, Freckle. Don't tell me you aren't having a good time showing off your shoveling skills for hotsy totsy over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's it's Shovels. Oh, for a moment there, I thought it was your mom. 
This is why it'll go well enough spirits. A ticket of graves and sacrilege and ash. Settle down, cousin. The spirits are all bottled up. <laughs> Hundred years past, Burke and Hare were up to much worse. And things turned out just fine for them. D didn't they hang them? Details, Freckle. Details. Now show me your crowbar skills. <laughs> Liquid gold! Dionysian delight! Better still, Canadian whiskey! <laughs> I think we should hurry. I'll start the car. In the jar. Leave the headlamps off. Can't be too careful. Right, we've been so discreet up until now. No! Don't let that get away! Sam can't spare a drop! Duration? Where's that spotlight when we need it, Miss Pepper? Oh, now no. the spirits are afoot. I got it. No, I got that it. is my foot. That's not what I meant. No, I can't see. Ah, there it is. You have to be rocked out. Oh. I mean, I guess it makes sense to have it be them instead of who it actually was. But does that mean the pig thing's not going to happen anymore? Or have we just entirely skipped that whole... Yeah, it's probably just skipped that whole thing. That's probably why it started with the monologue. <laughs> Mordecai! This is this is a, a dumber one, but I don't like talking over the stuff when I'm reacting to them. But I, when they got in the car, I'm sure it was just creaking noises of car because 1920s. But I swear to me, it sounded like the dude from the the skeleton trumpet meme for a second. I'm not going to run it back, but it sounded like the dude from the meme. Let's not prolong this. This is a trifling matter. We have other business to tend to. Yeah, but none of it near as fun as this gonna be. Mm, can't let the competition go unchecked. Even a little vermin, they got a way of festering. Alon! Where'd you learn to drive like that? I did it! Didn't? Where'd you drive? Well, you're so bad at it, you've confounded the enemy. Nicely done. <laughs> Now we need a performance from you, Torpedo Boy. Ah. Oh, no, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. No, no. Don't be modest. I, 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 uh... I will play us a symphony. Yes, this one is the big. Oh, no, stay with me. So first things, I'm a little surprised that the first laughter we, like, actual laugh, insane laughter we got was Freckle and not Rocky, but I guess they're saving that. I also was not prepared for, like, the dubstep background for that, but it's interesting because it's dubstep on top of, like, I don't know the name of the musical genre, I'm not, I'm not that cultured, but... Like the kind of music that you usually hear when they're when movies are doing stuff in Louisiana. Doesn't even matter the time period because Louisiana always looks like that. But there's a there's a oh Cajun's not a genre, is it? That's the that's a spice. But 
it's that kind of music with dubstep also, and it's interesting. <laughs> I think I swallowed a bug. You got a big fat bad bad for dinner? Who's there? Nah, just more glass. <laughs> Profoundly unprofessional. Well, they got more firepower than I expected. But you want to take over driving back there? No. Especially now that you have alleviated us of our windshield. Oh, you don't like how we play? How about you stop spectating and throw in, Chef? Or do we have to worry about you getting sentimental about old times? Holy crap! I gotta say, it's it's been a while since I've read Lack of Daisy, but that right there gave much more of a vibe of Mordecai and Rocky actually having known each other than, like, any of the canon stuff. All the side comics, my favorite being the Waffles, make it seem like they're best buddies or were at some point, but the comic itself never really felt like they had actually interacted, like maybe Rocky had joined... whatever the... Like, Rocky had joined up after Mordecai left, but that right there felt like he was specifically gunning for Rocky just to show he had no sentimentality. I don't think that's the way that word works. But, I really like how this, uh, how this is going so far. How it's characterizing everybody. I like the voices. Uh, Bloodthirst Freckle is terrifying in the best way. <laughs> so, I don't, I assume everybody's voices and stuff are in the... I guess not. I'm gonna have to find out who everybody is, but I, I, I'll do that after the video. Hmm. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to. It's just that there's a, a fire. A burning hot fire in, uh, in, the, in the engine compartment. <laughs> the radiator. No! Okay, it was water. I thought that. I thought that was a can of gas. Oh, he's got an eye twitch and everything. The ear flicks. How was this good? Oh, the world is full of magic things. I just need a ticket to ride. Heh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God! <laughs> That's a gun. 
I'll drop them away. You start the car. Please. <laughs> this is going to take longer if you scatter them. What happened to you that made you hate fun? <sighs> I'll take care of that. Disable the vehicle. Oh God. The way the ambient sound design plays with the earphones is fantastic. They they were not they were not messing around when they said that it's best experience with earphones. How does that car still work? Though scrutinized and scandalized and troubled in the end by depleted finances. Hmm. Familiar story. Miss Duncan leaves behind, moreover, a legacy of consummate artistry and bold innovation. Done in by a scarf. 
the comic end that makes the tragedy, doesn't it? Speaking of tragedy, we got an old supplier back, the funeral home. Still, it's not the same without you. And that feeling that all of this was ours. <sighs> Used to be we could drive a whole convoy of trucks in. Now we're just digging for scraps. Well, however unbecoming, Atlas, that's my cue. Meet you downstairs. For a second, I thought the scarf was her tail and was very confused. Miss M. Horatio. The door, sweetheart. Oh, right. Oh. How's the weather, madam? Ah, right, the difficult business of a uh, business. You could certainly be of some help. Except I'm supposed to be a pillar of the community, bearing of industry, upstanding citizen, you know? <laughs> he said, bent over his illicit beverage. Oh, thank goodness, I wasn't <laughs> sure you were alive. Zeb, shouldn't you be up on stage playing? For who? That guy? How about you, Wick? Shall I serenade you personally? Uh, once I've had a few more illicit beverages, perhaps. I suppose I could use one of those too. Victor? Victor, I know it's an adjustment, but the bartender's got to look like someone the patronage can tell their troubles to. More of a confidant, less of a coroner. Try smiling, honey. <laughs> we'll work on it. Bump, ba da da ba 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 Hello. We made it, everyone! I saw the car! We made it! About the carpet. <laughs> well, look what the Mississippi spat up. Miss Sam, you seem, uh, surprised. Rocky, sweetie, you are nothing if not an exhausting, incomprehensible surprise. Thank you! <laughs> this was supposed to be the real McCoy. Let's see if that's the surprise. Certainly start your engine. Which is to say, <clears throat> it beats radiator fluid. What's that aftertaste? Mm, crisp, full bodied, um, reminiscent of oak wood. Coffin varnish. Yeah, we can call it the uh, Sunset Rose Cocktail. <laughs> Sunset Rose Cocktail? That sounds good. <sighs> you have no idea what I went through to get this. I have very good an idea. Mmm, <laughs> sophisticated flavor. <laughs> I, I was not prepared for, like, one, the straight-up cat sounds. And I forgot I was wearing a pen. But also just... <laughs> I guess, I guess Freckle doesn't drink. Not bad then? Still, is this all we got for our money, honey? You look like you took a bath in the red. Well, I could probably wring some more out of my coat for you. There was a minor incident. Incidences. 
The likes of what? Oh, just some spent ammo and... Desecrated graves. Fractured signage, minor flooding, lots of structural damage. Uh, we may have fomented a deadly rivalry on the way, too. But dynamite and heavy machinery are marvelous problem solvers. A old sport! Dynamite? What dynamite? And the car is fine. I fixed it. Also, you have to know my violin. <laughs> oh god, the the part that got me was the the last second floosh of the engine bursting in the flame. Uh, <laughs> Came through unscathed. I know you did your best, honey, but we can't keep running ourselves ragged and into the red to bring Omega. What I mean is, I, I don't see how this... Uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm glad you and your violin are back, honey. We could all use some music about now. I mean, besides JJ. All right, all right. Come on, kid. What do you say we go lighten the mood? Uh, about the dynamite and the machinery. Can you elaborate? Mr. Sable. All uh, right. Cheers. Come on, you owe me a dance. I do? Yes, I decided. You know the Charleston? No. The Lindy Hop? No. The Roundabout? The Jingle Jangle? The Tinky Noodle? I haven't had any of these. I'll <laughs> <laughs> Have some more coffin varnish. Oh, okay. Right, credits. Duh. Hey! Alright, hang up. Hang on. Let's see. I do like the, the guy who... I sh it's a silly thing, but I, I find it interesting that I share a name with the guy that they got the voice Rocky. That's all. Whoa. Screenplay. Tra well, yeah, Tracy. Art director. Fable Siegel. Character design. Tracy. Well, yeah. Frog? Chew. Ashley Nichols. I saw her tweet about this. More, more Fable Siegel. Kelly Turnbull. Said that sounds vaguely familiar, but I don't know why. More frog chew. Uh, oh, uh. Okay. Zachary Newt Null. Magpie Raven Blackford. C cassette tape. Okay. Okay. Cool. There's Ashley Nichols again. There's a lot of... The There's a few of these names... I don't say a lot. There's a few of these names that seem familiar to me, and I honestly don't know why. Maybe I've seen them tweeting this week. Let's see. Sound design. Re-recording mixer. Trombone. Double bass. Violin. All of them did a great job. This music is fantastic. Oop. Animators. That is a lot of animators. I may not recognize these names, but I feel like I've definitely seen their work. Oh, there's Nich uh, Ash Nichols again. I believe that she worked on Has Been Hotel as well. Clean up. That's a lot of clean up. 
gets. That's a lot. Charmander. Protect them. Who do they all answer to? Company or gang? They work in pairs. Short King. Partners in crime. What does it mean? What is their connection? Churro and Peepers. Figgy! Lounge. So many kitties. Production. Creator, Tracy Butler. Director, Fable Siegel. I wonder who Fable Siegel is. I wonder if he was also at the convention with Tracy that, that one time. Or that two times. I have that poster! It's a prized possession. I had it hung on my wall and then Summer killed it. Ooh! It's information about the songs. Olive Branch. Sepia Tonic. I don't know which one I'm hearing right now. Special thanks. Ooh. Okay. Well. Hotel. Manager's office. Connect me to Mr. Sweet, please. Rather unfortunately, we were sidetracked. The vehicle has been disabled, and on the whole, the evening has not gone according to plan. Let me see if I have this right. Ruthless, infamous hatchet man Mordecai Heller is calling me to ask for a ride. Yes. <laughs> However, Mr. Sweet, it seems... What, what am I, your it, dad? <laughs> it seems we have a more considerable problem at hand. As a matter of fact, yes. But more to the point, one of our suppliers appears to be double-dealing. To stragglers from Lackadaisy, of all things. They're clumsy and likely to draw attention. With the feds in town... Yeah, that's a real liability. And I can only stave off so much heat from the higher-ups before this whole city starts smoldering. All oh, those dragons. Having given it some thought... It does appear to warrant our attention. Right then. Time to tie up some loose ends. I do want to say earlier in the video I hesitated at calling the name of the club Lackadaisy because even though I was like, okay, yeah, they're going back to the Lackadaisy and it's called the Lackadaisy, so of course it's the Lackadaisy. And I just stopped and was like, but what if I'm wrong? What if it's not called the Lackadaisy? What if I say they're going back to the Lackadaisy club and I'm wrong and I'm stupid? So I just, I didn't say it. And now, now that makes me wrong and stupid, but I was right. It is called the Lackadaisy. I'm just forgetful and overly cautious. <laughs> oh, hey, huh? Let's see. <clears throat> this film and its soundtrack are protected pursuant to the provisions of the laws of the United States of America and other companies. Okay, so let's just copyright information. Any semblance to to cats living or dead is entirely purposeful. All care. Hold up. The stories, institutions, and characters in this talkie are fictional. Any resemblance to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. Any resemblance to cats living or dead is entirely purposeful. All characters herein and distinct likenesses thereof are property of Tracy J. Butler. Like it is, he is a registered trademark of Tracy J. Butler. Is that what the R in the circle stands for? Registered trademark. Huh. So then, if. The R is registered trademark, then what's the TM? Handmade by artists in their homes across the world in spite of it all. <laughs> Thanks for watching! Thank you!
so um let me scroll down nobody needs to see what i've been watching uh <clears throat> so this was fantastic great job to everybody who worked on it i loved that it's been a while like since something on youtube has made me laugh until i choked like that that wasn't russian badger black and easy plays straight what interesting but um ow as far as my concerns about, like, the voice actors making me have to change what I'm doing, it doesn't sound like I really need to change a whole lot, because a lot of the voices in this animation were pretty close to what I've been doing anyway, which honestly feels a little creepy, but work it works for me! Like, especially Mordecai and and the, and the dude. I, I, I gotta remember these names, man. The guy that was at the bar who, uh, whose stuff was exploded, the dynamite. I found your tire iron! Um. I want to say Wick, but I think there's more to his name than that. Either way, the voice they gave him in Mordecai was very close to what I had in my head for doing for them anyway. Rockies is obviously different because I gave him an accent based on how he looked. Same thing with Freckle. I gave him a higher pitched voice based on how he looked and acted. I can say that I should probably give him a deeper voice. I know I should probably give him a deeper voice, but I don't know what kind of deeper voice I'd give him. Because eventually a whole bunch of characters are going to start sounding the same. Zib obviously did not sound like whatever it was I made him sound like. I do really like how he sounded. I can't do Louisiana accent, so none of the women voices are changing. But, oh, overall, I really liked this, and it does not make me feel like I can no longer do the Let's Read. If anything, it makes me feel like I was really on track with it. I would never, I would never have auditioned, because I do not have that much faith in myself to have auditioned to be any of these people. So, spot on to everybody who got those parts. Everybody did a really great job. And I 100% recommend watching this. Like, yeah, I don't know if like how far into this video you got. If you got this far, cool. Thanks for watching me talk about it and laugh at it and stuff. And weird noises that shouldn't have been happening near my microphone, but did anyway. Because my hands move a lot. But I recommend going and watching this yourself. And giving a subscribe to the Lackadaisy and a like and all that stuff. If you want to give the like and a subscribe to me too, that would be awesome. And yeah, go also go check out the comic over here. I, I'm not sure if I'm caught up in the comic. I don't think I've seen this page, but I'll have to look into that later. But thanks again for watching, and I will see y'all in whatever the next video happens to be. I know what it might be, but it's not lackadaisy. But I'll see you there. Later.